Hello, in this video we're going to find the derivative of this function. We have y equal to the square root of x plus 1 over the cube root of x to the fourth solution. So to do this problem, what we're going to do is try to write everything as x to a power so we can use the power rule. The power rule basically says if you have the derivative with respect to x of x to the n, so x to a power, you bring down the n, you put it in the front, and you subtract 1 from the exponent. So that's the rule we're going to use in this problem. So we need to do some work before we use this rule. So let's go ahead and start rewriting our function. So y equals, so the square root of x is the same thing as x to the 1 half. This is x to the 1 over 2. And there's really a 1 here and there's really a 2 here. So it's 1 over 2, 1 over 2, really important. So this is plus 1 over, same procedure here. Just like with the square root, how it was 1 over 2, here it's going to be 4 over 3. So this would be x to the four thirds. We're not quite there yet though, because we have a fraction here. We can differentiate this one, but we can't do this one yet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring this upstairs, and when we do that, the exponent is going to become negative. So y is equal to x to the one half plus x to the negative four thirds. So now we're in a good place, right? Because we have x to a power, so we can apply this rule called the power rule. So y prime, so you just bring down the 1 half, so 1 half. Then 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Okay, if you're not sure about that, you can just go to the side. 1 half minus 1 is really, well, how do you write 1 as a number over 2? Two? 2 halves, so it's 1 half minus 2 halves. Then you subtract, so you get negative 1 halves. Same thing here, bring down the negative 4 thirds. X to the negative 4 thirds minus 1 is negative 7 thirds. And again, if you're not sure about that, you go to the side, negative 4 thirds minus 1. How do you write 1 as a number over 3? Well, 3 over 3. And then you can subtract the numerators. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. So that checks, and all is good. And so that's actually the final answer. You can rewrite it and bring the exponents down and write um, you know, positive exponents and radicals again, but you can also just leave it like this. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.